Chris from the Play and Learning team at Eureka, and today I've got something really cool to show you. I've been lucky enough to bring a rather special piece of equipment home with me from Eureka. It's a camera that lets you see the world through a whole different light. Now our eyes, they see the world through visible light. All the colours of the rainbow, from red up to purple. But that isn't the only kind of light. There's other kinds of light our eyes don't see. There's X-rays and gamma rays, there's microwaves and radio waves, there's infrared and ultraviolet. And they all appear, along with visible light, on something called the electromagnetic spectrum. Now, visible light sits in the, kind of towards the middle of that spectrum, in quite a sm small area, actually. And as you go up beyond purple light, you get to ultraviolet, and then you get X-rays and gamma rays. And as you go beyond red light, you get to infrared, and then you get uh, microwaves and radio waves. And we use these different kinds of light in lots of different ways. We use microwaves to cook our food. We use x-rays to see the bones inside our bodies. We use radio waves to listen to music. But the one I'm interested in today, and the one this camera sees, is infrared light. Lots of objects give out infrared light because heat is given out as infrared. So the hotter an object is, the more infrared light it gives out. The less hot it is, the less light it gives, infrared light it gives out. And this camera looks at how much infrared light is being given out by an object. It then converts that into light that we can see and pops it on the tablet screen. So if you're looking at something that's really hot, that's kind of a yellow or a red, or something that's quite cool, it's a blue or a purple. So let's see what my living room looks like through infrared light. Not all creatures need cameras like us though to see in infrared. Snakes can just do it with their normal eyes and they use it to hunt. But now we can see the world through infrared. We do use it in a few different ways. Um, one example is firefighters. They use infrared cameras sometimes to look through smoke and dust in dark buildings so they can find fires or people. And telescopes use it as well. Next year, we're planning to send up the James Webb Space Telescope. And it has a big infrared camera that's much better than my little one. And it's gonna use that to look through nebulas and dust clouds to see stars forming and what the early universe looked like. There you go then. There's a little bit of a taste of what the world looks like in infrared.